first thing first yeah if i'm the president of nigeria i'm we're, we're gonna be playing this game if i'm the president of nigeria okay, because calm. i think it's I'm important ready. yeah if i'm the president of nigeria i think everybody needs therapy Love that. They need fe- like the mental health issues in this country is huge. Love they all need fer- listen every single person just open free medic Facts. free therapy clinics Facts. and people just walking in and walking. In fact, you have to get therapy yep. before you get your pension. Because <laughs> all these crazy old ass people in this country. No, but I think it's deep. I think you have to get therapy before you can start a business. I'm telling you, a lot of startup founders, yeah, they've got mental illnesses themselves. <laughs> Seriously. In fact, to, to even to even decide to open a business in Nigeria, you definitely have an issue, boy. Why are you <laughs> we're in that boat, boy? So I don't know what you're saying. Which is another topic that I actually want us to cover up on as well. Mm. Cause you know recently we've seen one, two, two scandals and stuff in mm. like startup founders. And um I was speaking to this guy in HR and he was basically telling me, because I asked him about it and he and he made a good point. He goes, In Nigeria we have a big problem when the owner owner manager problem. So when the startup founder is also the one that um, is a CEO mm. and he started the business, he gets his God complex because mm. already there's so much poverty when you have money, Esa, my Jisa, or this sa. So you get worshipped mm. up and down and then you see your stuff and you're like, I built this company. I own everything. So mm. you become very like micromanaging, possessive. Mm. And you see that a lot with like Nigerian like um, startup founders. Mm. So again, I still think there's a lot of training that needs to be done to make sure ah, a whole you don't develop that complex. But that's why I liked what the, that whole period of that scandal situation because yeah. it really kind of shunned everybody was checking themselves. Yeah. Right? Because I even saw among my, my peers, Ooh, people were like checking themselves good. to make sure that they're doing the right thing as leaders. Good. So it's, it, it was a good thing in a way. It kind of mm. had a good effect. Yeah. But I don't, I don't know if it's going to last, right? Mm-hmm. Or maybe if investors in the future are going to be checking out for those cultural things. That's the thing. These mm. that's another thing. All the ones money in it, they don't really care. These man just throw money at startups here, and they're not checking like the operation. A cultural thing can cause a disaster in a startup. Facts. Like it can, people can just one day say, you know what, I'm leaving. I don't want to be a part of this nonsense, and then the whole business is done. Like there's a lot. A lot of them have high turnover. Yeah, for you, for you, for your business to have high turnover of staff in Nigeria, that means you're really doing something wrong mm. because it's hard to find youth unemployment is quite high it's mm. not easy for people to get jobs mm. so if they're leaving your job for mental health where they don't might even have somewhere to go mm. and salary is already low that means you're really 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 doing something doing wrong, wrong yeah. so i agree with you like mental health training is so important and what, what what's it what's it with like nigerian businesses and paying people late oh man even salaries as well oh man i'm telling like, you like how do people survive i'm te- fam <laughs> when i came here and i was like to my girls because obviously the first nine months i was here i was just doing lockdown avoidance from mm. the uk <laughs> so during that lockdown avoidance i was flirting with the idea of actually moving permanently so when i was talking to my girls that i moved back already they were telling me yeah if you're going to come here and work here do not work for a nigerian firm mm. work for a multinational because nigerian firm yeah your salary is due on the 25th it could be one month, two months before they pay your salary. And I know I've got Ni- I've got Nigerian, Nigerian friends who they're being owed salaries. That's madness to me. So it makes me understand like what these guys are going through. And that's why I say like in the UK, we're always shouting about our privilege, mm. about white people. We want white people to accept their privilege. But in Nigeria, as diaspora, we need to accept our privilege. Yeah, true. And I really mm. want diaspora to like understand that because I can also I can see where homegrown people are coming from when they want a job because they can see a better life out there. And how can you tell me that my salary is due at a certain month? So, so for example, I mean, just your salary being paid on time is enough to be to look at that as a better life, you know? Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. ignore the extra stuff. Obviously, yeah, yeah, yeah. we're there, we're seeing the extra stuff. Yep, we've yep, been yep, there, or yep. we've been there, seeing extra stuff. So yep. we're thinking we're comparing the, the external things to this, right? Yeah. The second level of, of problems but first level problems are still happening here Facts. so they're thinking you know what like if my first level problem is being solved why do i want to be here yeah and yeah. i kind of get it as well so you can kind of see where they're coming from but yeah they need to do better i mean if you're employing anyone or giving anyone any work just do pay them on time Facts, man. that's the minimum man. you could do i'm telling you i'm telling you yeah there's no it's just it's just that like you said something that you said um in our last episode that i felt was just so accurate you see the rawest form of humanity here. Mm. And I think a lot of us diaspora that come back, we're actually quite human. Mm. No matter how tapped we are, and we're definitely tapped, we still have that respect for human life. Yeah, true, And true, that's true. why sometimes they even run... They, they, run um, games on us. Yeah. Yeah, take, take the liberties. Exactly. 
Yeah, don't don't fall for the for the for the uh, yeah. fear 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 tactics or whatever it's yeah, called. Yeah, <laughs> because the type of startup founder I am, I'm very I want to give. Mm. So I'm someone as long as you do your work good, I will spoil you. I mm. want you to be happy. I want you to because I feel like life is like even as a workaholic, I still want to have fun because I believe in balance. Mm. So I'm like that with stuff. But I've heard from other people that have come back. Even like um, this one babe, she left America to come here. She did that same thing, and they run games on her really yeah. I, one time yeah um okay so this is my discipline disciplinary i have a bit of uk disciplinarian metrics okay, like wait cool. you know you like nigerian people they'll beat you with a stick yeah and like yeah. be very physical i'm not doing that no. while uk people are more strategic about that Definitely. So, so one of my uh one of my staff at the time i think he i think i talked about um what was i saying there was like um Oh yeah, there was some work to be done that day and he didn't come to the office. And I called him up and I was like, yo, like, where are you? He was yeah. like, he was like, I came to the office and there was no light. And I was like, what do you mean? We're all in the office here working. What, nobody saw you here. What are you talking about? Right? Anyways, long story short, I told him to write a, a long email, five pages long. No, nah, I can't. <laughs> I cannot. Man said, "Do I'm triggered." They used to make me do lines in six form, yeah, when I was naughty. <laughs> <laughs> so I was thinking this is the most UK punishment of all time. <laughs> that is the most UK punishment of all time. So, but it was I didn't want to like make it because there was nothing I could really because I was so angry. But I was like, you know what? Because it's it, the guy is like not it, when it comes to that, he would think it's so much work. Mm. It, it would be painful. It would, it would be of a bit, not like physical pain. No, but it's it pain. Like, when I used to write lines, yeah, it was painful. It's painful. So I was like, write five pages document why you didn't come to the office and, five and why you're not going to pages. Gonna yeah, he wrote, he wrote every single excuse in the world. That's like that? three, four thousand, four thousand words. <laughs> four thousand words. Nah, because then again, like, I also want my staff to be very educated. Facts. So, facts, like, facts. for him to write 4,000 words, <laughs> <laughs> your education <laughs> has definitely gone up in that week, boy. <laughs> nah, I've dealt with that a lot. The whole, there's no light, there's no this. But the truth is, a lot of them aren't lying. Yeah, yeah. So that's why like, you yeah. have a conundrum because you're mm. like, mm. Sometimes you like man I try, you see the way we used to make excuses mm. not come to work here or something in London, but it's like with the whole not light thing, the gen is not you know. Yeah, but they use that as the for funny thing. Us, yeah, we make sure like during a certain period of times there's light in the office at all time, even if we have to on the gym because yeah. gen is very expensive, right? Mm -hmm. So the fact that he's trying to use that as an excuse. <laughs> Is what pissed me off because I made sure I'm paying this sure. shit. <laughs> so like, I mean, you're not working from home. You're working from the office and I'm paying for the mm. diesel that's going to that generator, mm. right? So I was a bit like, a bit, and I was like, bro, I'm like, what do you mean? This is, this is not how you do things. Like, I'm training, I call ourselves Spartans, innit? We, nice, we, I love that, yeah. yeah we call ourselves, like, we're tra love... we're, I'm training Spartans. Honestly, we're, it's we're an like, army, it's a movement. Yeah, like yeah. we're a movement, like, like we're not all the other companies. I'm telling you, The reason yeah. why people rate us and people come from all around the exactly. world to come and see us in Nigeria yeah. is because we're Spartans. So like, exactly, I love don't that. be giving no low level Media, ounce, media that, energy, yeah, yeah nah, nah, some nah, peasant nah. energy, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah. you got you to discipline your staff, man, because it's 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 um it's needed, like the the, the expectations in this country is low exactly so you have to bring it all the way uh, up hi, yeah, yeah you have to bring it all the way up yeah definitely and that it just goes back to that thing that i said at the beginning have making them have pride in their work mm. and making them have pride in what they're doing mm. and taking them past that survival mode mentality because yeah, yeah. once you get past that sky's the limit for you mm, yeah because people always want to work with people that are good yeah true. Just like just like fine things they like nice things they mm. will throw there's so much money here mm. if you get it right they'll be throwing they're money at you, you. Yeah. you'll even start be re you'll be rejecting mm. jobs <laughs>